giving you a voice. Making it loud our own way. Welcome, Welcome to the fun. fun. First off for Greg, I, I have no clue if you're going to be able to answer this, but uh, from Alex Richards, 48, uh, will the new control system be delayed after 2022? Uh, we are still actively working on that, and our schedule has not changed. So I don't know. You know, we haven't heard anything from first that's going to change that, but our schedule has not changed. Um, and then a, a question that came in, uh, I saw a couple of people post this, but I copied the one from uh, Norm uh, RM2191 uh, asking that he's a senior, and he's asking, uh, I don't understand what we as seniors are supposed to do if we can't play an off-season game. Uh, which was supposed to be the last competition we participate as team members. Uh, so two real quick things. So I don't think first explicitly banned off-season events. However, the likelihood one would happen is probably pretty low, and especially for safety reasons anyways. But, guys, any any suggestions or advice for the, the seniors or any way that we can help uh, recognize them as well or, or any way that first might be able to? So well, I, 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 have, I have one real quick. So – there's the build season, which is eat, which is making cake, and there's the competition, which is eating cake, right? You got that experience of making cake. Maybe you didn't get a chance to eat it, but it's awesome anyway. And so, like, you should be proud of the accomplishment that you had. Um, I know that competition is not – without it, it kind of feels like something is missing. But I think when you reflect back on your first experience, the things that you will remember, or at least what I remember from my time on a team, is the things – in build season with friends, the things I learned, like the overall experience. And I think that not being able to compete should not tarnish your first experience. Now, now it hurts, but it takes time to get to that reflection point where you realize that this is not that big of a life thing. But I will say that like next year, right. Even if you've graduated, like cheer on your team, right? Like the younger students, even if you're not locally mentoring your your team because you've moved off, like you can still be a resource for them. I mean, you know that robot, you know that technology, like like help them from a distance, right? Like figure out ways to stay involved. Um, and that's really kind of the takeaway is this is just a bump in the road. This is not the end of the road. So I, I think it just, it's going to take some time and perspective to, to kind of internalize that, but trust us old fogies who have been around for a long time. You know. Yeah, maybe like we got about two minutes left, guys. By the way, I just want to point pull yeah, the sure. out there. So go ahead. So I'll, I'll just like you know this is what I expect of my of my seniors that are on my team, right? Um, first of all, like we appreciate you know everything that they've done for the team. Many of our students have been on the team for at least four years, at least four years. They, they their accomplishments are huge. The things we've done you know as a team in that time frame are. Uh, are awesome and amazing. So we're super proud of them. Um, but like everything we do as a team, like I still fully expect that their first priority is to support the team. Um, and it's, it's a, it's a, the senior class of 2020, you know, the high school seniors, like what is happening to you guys is unprecedented. And it's a huge bummer. My heart breaks along with the rest of the world for like missing prom, missing championship, missing uh, graduation, like all this stuff that's happening. So I, I can't even actually say that I, I understand what you're going through because we don't, but I will say that like you're a part of something bigger. The experience you got is bigger than just this one competition season um, that, that you're missing out on. Um, and like Greg said, it's going to take time for you to, to absorb that. But I actually think um, this class is going to have something that's really unique. And the, you know, the struggles you're going through are actually going to probably build stronger people at the end of the day. Um, so that that's that's what I expect out of our own team. That's that's what I say to our own our own seniors. So, uh, and, would that mean something to, yeah, take to it, bring it bring it home for us? Yeah, yeah. And the one thing that I do want to say, like for us, I know we've talked to our seniors. We have a grand total of two seniors this year, but still, all the same. The one thing that I always want to hammer home is first will always be here for you. It's not going anywhere. So your experience as a student is going to be different than your experience as an alumni, which is going to be different than your experience as a mentor, et cetera. But it's all, each aspect of first will give you something. And I mean, everyone's telling you, have perspective, like have some perspective. It could be worse. Doesn't matter. Like it sucks. It blows. And for what it's worth, like, yes, you'll come out of it stronger for now. You can take a little bit of time to grieve, but at the same time, first will be here for you when the world is ready um, and you'll come back at it with a fresh perspective. It'll help you enjoy those moments all the more. Like you can still volunteer. I wouldn't recommend mentoring in first year university, but after that, feel free. Like it's not 
over. Infinite recharge is truly infinite, yes. Uh, but first is still going to be here for you uh, when we're ready. Thanks for watching. If you want more fun content, be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos. Thanks to all of our co-executive producers on Patreon and Tier 2 Plus subscribers on Twitch, keeping fun loud, live, and independent.